as far as, as he was concerned, they weren't the purest that uh, uh, some of the trout lovers like himself were in terms of fishing for trout. Uh, he thought that a good, respectful trout would not take a lure, it would take a uh, fly only. So, This is one of the prettiest spots in the river. I won't give the exact location because I don't want to be overrun by people, but you know, we're just below Boney Falls Dam. Uh, this is a waterfall I cropped up a few years back. It's uh, actually uh, water that falls along the bedrock and comes out here along the river. But it's a great place to cool off in the summer. In the summertime, you can kind of climb up on the falls. In the middle there, you can climb right behind the waterfalls and have the water cascade over you. So it's a great way to spend a hot day to come up here and cool off. So we're going to go down here and fish. So it's kind of a channel that goes along the river there. Uh, and we'll walk that downstream to the camp and hopefully we'll catch some fish. Cool. <laughs> And actually, I don't know if you want to do a tribute to John Volker today or Robert Traver. Go ahead. I'd just like to read from uh, Trout Madness, uh, Robert Traver. Uh, his real name was John Volker. But anyway, John wrote, I fish mainly because I love the environs where trout are found, the woods, and further because I happen to dislike the environs where crowds of men are found, large cities, but if, heaven forbid, there were no trout and men were everywhere few, I would still doubtless prowl the woods and streams because it is there and only there that I really feel at home. I fish because I love to. I love the environs where trout are found which are invariably beautiful and hate the environment where crowds of people are found which are invariably ugly. Because of all the television commercials, cocktail parties, and assorted social posturing I thus escape, because in a world where most men seem to spend their lives doing things they hate, my fishing is at once an endless source of delight and an act of small rebellion. Because trout do not lie or cheat and cannot be bribed or impressed with power, but respond only to quietude and humility and endless patience. Because I suspect that men are going along this way for the last time, and I for one don't want to waste a trip. Because mercifully, there are no telephones on trout streams. Because only in the woods can I find solitude without loneliness. Because bourbon out of an old tin cup always tastes better out there. Because maybe one day, I will catch a mermaid. And finally, not because I regard fishing as being so terribly important, but because I suspect that so many of the other concerns of men are equally unimportant and not nearly so much fun. Amen. And John Volker, uh, who wrote Anatomy of a Murder and uh, wrote Trout Mantis, actually used to fish this area of the river here. So I think it's a fitting tribute on opening day here to read those words uh, from uh, Trout Mantis words that have been repeated around the world because really uh, trout fishing I think is a special unique form of fishing um, and where else but out here can you find such beautiful solitude and solitude without loneliness as uh, John Volker writes about so we're gonna give a shot today we'll see what happens and uh, should have some fun you know you said your grandfather was a Methodist preacher yes and your father was a preacher yes my dad's Methodist minister as well and I think you are too <laughs> Well, I like to preach about the outdoors. I think the outdoors are a great place to be, especially up here in the Upper Peninsula. Uh, 